his own hand and showed his sovereignty. The wonderful thing about our great democracies is that they hardly ever descend into juvenile name-calling. I'll use small words so that you'll be sure to understand, you warthog-faced buffoon. You shit-kicking, stinky, horseman-horse-smelling motherfucker, you! You dirty-eating piece of slime! You scum-sucking pig! You no-business-born, insecure, junkyard motherfucker! Although, in the 2012 presidential campaign, each side did use terms of unspeak made from the other candidate's name. We'd already heard of Obamacare. In applying this label to the healthcare legislation, the Republicans portrayed it as the personal fetish of one individual, ready to be repealed as soon as Obama was no longer in the picture. Obama diffused this unspeak bomb by saying that he liked the term Obamacare, because he really did care. The president then delighted the Democratic fan base with a skit about a new psychopathology that he called Romnesia. He's forgetting what his own positions are, and he's betting that you will too. I, I'm not familiar precisely with exactly what I said, but I stand by what I said, whatever it was. You gotta name this condition that he's going through. I think, I, I, I think it's called Romnesia. And so, dementia and mental illness were gleefully trivialized for the sake of a playground insult. <laughs> the second presidential debate was in the highly artificial and carefully choreographed format called a town hall debate. Wow. In this ersatz town hall, the candidates fought a strange war on an axis of vertical. The crucial choice was between top-down and trickle-down. Obama said three times that Romney's tax cuts for the rich were top-down economics. And he said of his own school's program, Race to the Top, that it wasn't a top-down approach. Obama, of course, was at the top. Perhaps he meant to plant the idea that he wasn't going down. But if nothing from the top was going down, Obama couldn't have been having any effect on the nation at all. Obama might not have been going down, but, according to Romney, he was trickling. Yes, what Romney hated was Obama's trickle-down government, a phrase he used three times. So it seemed oddly that left and right had just swapped insults. The left used to deride trickle-down economics. And the right used to scorn top-down planning. But now, each side had accidentally picked up the other's weapon of unspeak. No one actually said bottom-up, perhaps because it might sound rude. The candidates did agree on one thing, which was the importance of the middle class, and especially middle-class families. Obama said he wanted to give ladders of opportunity to the middle class. And still, no one uttered the phrase, bottom-up. Romney blurted that America had the world's greatest middle class. He has no idea. According to Romney, you're middle class if you earn $200,000 a year. Middle income is $200,000, $250,000 and less. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. In the final debate on foreign policy, voters were again offered a clear choice. Not about whether America should keep assassinating people with giant killer robots in the sky, since both candidates firmly endorsed the military actions euphemized as drone strikes, which sounds like a bunch of tediously waffling people taking the day off work. By the way, if you're marked down as a target for killing by flying robots, you're not on a kill list, you're on a disposition matrix. Presumably because you have a disposition to become dead. No, the choice facing American middle-class families was this. Did they want to be safe? Is it safe? I tell you, I can't do it. Or strong? Obama kept using the words safe or safer. Safe, safe, safer, safe, 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 or safe. He said Romney's strategy was not designed to keep America safe. And by the way, did he mention that he had personally murdered Osama bin Laden? The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden. Romney announced charmingly that... We want a peaceful planet. Perhaps trying to imply that Obama was from Mars and he was from Venus. But Romney was more concerned with demonstrating puissance than protection. 
he used some form of the word strong and impressive 19 times. America must be strong. Be strong. Strong, stronger. Be strong, 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 strong. We need strong leadership. Romney wanted a strong military abroad and a strong economy at home, though he didn't find time to mention strong health care. So on election day, the choice was clear. Would citizens vote for a safe, trickle-down network of ladders for middle-class families? You're going up, up, up the ladder! Or a strong, top-down plan to build more peaceful battleships loaded with binders full of women? Only America could decide. Barack Obama? I don't know. I already got one wife telling me to eat healthy.